Good morning. Welcome to Bethany Church, the last day of July. So tomorrow we enter into August, and then what do they call those, the dog days of August, and maybe it'll get really hot. Not that it's not been hot, uh, but it's, uh, we're just so glad that you've joined us today. Uh, some of you have probably discovered by now that there is a Hemsing and Ice Cream Social on August the 14th at 6 in the evening. And you can fill out your favorite hymn to have sung on that occasion. And it's going to be like uh, the most favorite of all favorites will go first, then second, third. And so you put yours down there and uh, drop that in the offering plate on your way out along with your church note card with any prayer requests that you might have. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having a deacon's meeting, and at the deacon's meeting we pray for every single request that comes into the church. And so if you put something down, you can be assured that it will be prayed for. Uh, our mission theme this month has been uh, blessings in a backpack, and uh, you, we got a little announcement, but today is the last day to contribute to that. Next week, we're going to have, a, a, well, actually next month, we're going to split the month into two halves on our special offerings that we do. And half is going to go to uh, DRAW, which is disaster relief at work uh, because of the catastrophic flood down in Kentucky. Uh, they're taking loads of things down and uh, we want to resupply and help them with those supplies. And so we're going to take our focus for the first two weeks on draw, but you'll find more information about that. I believe we need to bring items in. Cash is best, okay? So if you got some cash, you can donate to that. That'll be next two weeks. And then after that, um, we will be going on to our emphasis on Kiva. And that is our emphasis where we loan money to entrepreneurs in third world countries. And uh, they pay that money back. And we'll tell you a, a lot more about that next month. But it is the gift that we give that keeps on giving. Because when they pay it back, we send it right back out to help somebody else. And it helps people uh, get the loans that you cannot get. Because often in their communities, there are no banks to take loans from. And so it just helps somebody that we don't even know. We're loving our neighbor as ourselves in a really, really powerful way with that. So we got those things that are coming up. I just want to say welcome again. And let's begin our worship service with prayer. Father in heaven... We're so very thankful for this Lord's Day and the blessings that we have. We pray for those, Lord, who are suffering this week because of disaster down in Kentucky. Lord, we, we, we pray for those families that have lost a family member through the flood. Uh, Lord, that you'd heal their grieving hearts. And Lord, those who have been injured and those who have had just terrible losses. Uh, Lord, we pray that through multiple means of, and streams of people giving, uh, that they will be able to rebound, and Lord, that someone will offer their help in the name of Jesus, uh, so that as we give, the one who's actually giving it will do it in the name of Jesus, uh, so that, Lord, they will find Christ as Savior, and that they will have a life that is changed and altered in faith in the true and living God. Lord, bless us now. We've come here, and each one's got a different thing on their heart. And we know that the Lord God Almighty does not look on the outward appearance, you look on the heart. So the eyes of the Lord run to and fro through the whole earth, and you see what's on the heart. Each one who has that popping in their head right now, this is my burden today. Lord, I pray that you would lift it. And for I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's good to be back. I was actually in Kentucky for the first couple days of my vacation with my sister. We went to the Creation Museum and the Ark, and it was awesome, so great. I recommend it for anybody who wants to go. Weren't we planning a, a trip to go there coming up, aren't we? And I want to go back because there was so much I didn't see. I didn't see any of the atrium gardens around the Ark and stuff like that. But it was really cool because it was kind of drizzly rainy when we were there. And I was like, oh, the ark, the ark. It was really cool. Anyway. <laughs> so I wanted to thank Bob and Joyce and Tanya and whoever else was up here the past couple of weeks while I've been gone. Thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> 
And poor Tanya, she was tired, but everybody else was unavailable. So here she is again today, and she's sounding awesome. So thank you so much, Tanya. And Becca's going to join us for the last number. Yay. All right, now this first one, you guys, we did it once when we had the Come Back to Church Sunday. But I'm sure you've all heard it on the radio. So just sing where you feel comfortable. It's a fun one. All right, here we go. Was a time when I swore I would never go back. I was blind to the truth, didn't know what I had. I was running, I was searching, but every place I turned for healing left me more broken than the last. Take me back to a place that feels like home, to the people I can't depend on, to the faith that's in my bones. Take me back. To a preacher and a verse Where they've seen me at my words To the love I had at first oh, I want to go to church Tried to walk on my own but I went there Now I'm making my way to the foot of the cross It's not a trophy winners it's a shelter for the sinners and it's right where i belong take me back take me back to the place that feels like home to the people i can't depend on to the faith that's in my bones take me back to a preacher and a verse where they've seen me at my worst to the love i had at first I want to go to church. I want to go to church. Oh, more than an obligation, it's our foundation. The family of God, I know it's hard, but we need each other. Oh, take me back to a place that feels like home, to a people I can't depend on, to a faith that's in my bones. Take me back to a preacher and a verse, where they've seen me at my worst, to the love I had at first, oh, I want to go to church. Yeah, I want to go to church. Oh, oh, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go to church. I want to go to church. Amen. And we're here. Yay. <laughs> Glad to see all your happy faces. I missed you. <laughs> Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need thy tender care. In thy pleasant pastures, feed us. For our new stifles prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast brought us thine, we are. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast brought us.
Church. Thank you for joining us online. If you can't make it here, we're so honored to have you. Let's uh, bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. We come to you in reverence. As the Apostle Paul said, you know, sometimes we do the things that we don't want to do, that we know we're not supposed to do. We come here as sinners in need of a Savior. Lord, we thank you that you sent your only Son to pass in our stead and that we no longer have to worry. Lord, we ask that you open our hearts and your minds, not only to your greatness, your justice, your morals, and your examples, but we also thank you for your grace. Lord, we thank you that even though there's been another tragedy in Kentucky, that you can use it for good by showing people that there are still good in the world, that through you, we can take a terrible situation and make it great. Lord, bless those people in need. Bless all those people here and online. We praise your name. Amen. Amen. Roger's favorite. <laughs> Seven years old, third row pew, John 3, 16, something changed in me. Read a letters coming off the page, flooded my heart with amazing grace. I knew I believed those roots run deep. Oh, I've been through some faith-shaking hard times, yeah. But nothing's gonna make me forget. Every one of those Sunday sermons, every time the choir would sing, I could hear my Savior calling, telling me how much He loves me. No matter what the world throws at me, I know His word is true. It all started with a heart stirring, spirit moving. Sunday sermon, devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Got the plan to out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Gonna have my words. Well, that's part of life. But I think of those stories about what my God can do. Still moving like it did back then. Born again, people, can I get an amen? All seen the proof. He makes all things do. And even through some faith shaking hard times, yeah. I never want to stop remembering 
Every one of those Sunday sermons, every time the choir would sing, I can hear my Savior call, telling me how much He loves me. No matter what the world throws at me, I know His word is true. It all started with a heart stir, spirit moving Sunday sermon. Devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Oh, one of those Sunday sermons. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, ain't no doubt. So I'm gonna keep on talking about. Oh, every one of those Sunday sermons, every time the choir would sing. I can hear my Savior calling, telling me how much He loves me. No matter what the world throws at me, I know I'll make it through. It all started with a heart stirring, spirit moving, Sunday sermon. Devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Devil gonna try to take me out of that church, but you can't take the church out of me. Wow, that was, that was great. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey, we're uh, still in July. You should have this verse down pat because we've had five Sundays to memorize it in, okay? So we're on the, the fifth Sunday. So I want you to say it with me. All right, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God. Not by works, lest anyone can boast. <clears throat> I'm sorry I quoted King James on you. That probably messed you all up. I, I memorized that years ago in the King James and trying to switch the words out to modern English just not working for me today. So, Amen. Please stand with us. Thank you for that sermon, Pastor. Yeah, that was a good one. At the women's retreat, I, how many of you went to the women's retreat? So they asked us, remember she, Liz Higgins, what was that her name? She asked us to think of somebody that you could share the Word of God with. And I thought of one person right away, and I haven't even gotten really to get together with her yet because she just keeps kind of canceling on me. The other one I thought, yeah, it's a long shot, but who knows. I am telling you, you guys, she showed up to her voice lesson because she comes to my house for a voice lesson hungry. Like, I, I didn't even... It was like she was already heart open, ready, and it was unbelievable. And ever since then, sometimes we don't even have a lesson. We just sit on my deck and talk. <laughs> and she's like glowing. Like she's one of those really hyper people. And she act, literally shakes sometimes. Every time I see her now, she's like calm as a cucumber. And just, it is the neatest thing, you guys. Seriously, if you can think of somebody to witness to, it's, it's incredible. And God, if you pray about it, he'll just, he'll prepare their heart just ready for you. So really cool. I just wanted to share that. <laughs> her name's Alex, if you want to pray for her. She's going to be an amazing Christian. I'm super excited. <laughs> Amen. Yay, we got Becca. Woohoo. <laughs> Good morning, has it been a long night? Maybe been a long year, maybe been a hard life, maybe you're not all right. If you got a little red in your eyes, you come to the right place. People like you, people like me, this is where we all find grace. Come on now, bet you want to sing hallelujah, bet you're saying amen. Can't help but celebrate being born again. Somebody who loves you is waiting at the door. Whoa, it's home sweet home here in the house of the Lord. Take a load off, you're about to find your rest. It's a crazy world out there, got some hope right here out of the wilderness. If you're needing water for your soul, 
where you're in the right place. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, whoever you are, this is where we all find grace. Come on now, bet you want to sing hallelujah. Bet you say amen. Can't help but celebrate being born again. And somebody who loves you is waiting at the door. Whoa. It's home sweet home here in the house of the Lord. Bring your heartache, bring your burden. You can lay them down at the door. There is no fear. You belong here. Step into the house of the Lord. Clap in your heartache. Bring your burden. You can lay them down at the door. And it's so clear. You belong here. Step into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bet you want to sing hallelujah. Yeah, bet you're saying amen. Can't help but celebrate being born again. Somebody who loves you is waiting at the door. Oh, it's home sweet home here in the house of the Lord. Bring your heartache, bring your burden. You can lay them down at the door. And it's so clear you belong here. Step into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bet you want to sing hallelujah. Bet you're saying amen. Can't help but celebrate being born again. Somebody who loves you is waiting at the door. Whoa. It's home sweet home here in the house of the Lord. Bet you want to sing hallelujah. Bet you're saying amen. Can't help but celebrate being born again. Somebody who loves you is waiting at the door. Whoa, it's home sweet home here in the house of the Lord. Woo! <laughs> All righty. So my final thoughts are this. Number one, I didn't know I was going to be the one getting the sermon today. But what a great job Pastor Dennis does here, and he definitely leads a great congregation. I'm so thankful to be here. Um, unlike Pastor Dennis, I was not called really early. I was about 33 years old when I was called into the ministry, and somebody may have heard me laugh at one point because in my ordainment, well, interrogation we'll call it, uh, one of the pastors, I believe it was Mike Rath, said, you know, if you can do anything else, do it. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> but... That is the truth, is that you got to love what you do, and all those crowns are earned at night when it's difficult, when the temptation's on, when the chips are down. It's not always easy being a Christian, but God calls us to minister to other people. If you ever have trouble, Pastor Dennis and I are here to help you as the shepherds, but the rest of you are all here to serve others as well and to be God's representative out there in the world. I'm so thankful for you guys, because you guys represent so well each and every one of us, and it's funny, my son yesterday, we were talking, we were watching the show, and uh, he looks over, and being that I've had a lot of experience in my life prior to being a pastor, um, he said, uh, you know, he thought he was going to be smart, said, I bet you guys can't uh, go two weeks without saying anything bad, and I said, I'll take that bet, and he immediately went, well, I mean anything weird, and he pointed to my wife, Tanya, and me sitting there, because I'm always hitting on my wife. <laughs> I still love her, and we're, we still have a great marriage, <laughs> but uh, it's not always easy being the representative for God, but other people are watching, and uh, let's go out there this week and earn some crowns. We're so thankful for you guys, and uh, thankful for Pastor Dennis's shepherding, amen. I believe he's got some announcements for us for this week. Pastor Dennis? Yes. Thank you. We also have uh, two new members joining us today, and I'm going to ask for the Myers to come on down to give you a right hand of fellowship. Yeah. They filled out, they filled out their applications, and I don't have your certificate because Kelly's away. And I, I, I don't know how to do that, and so we'll give you your certificates next time, but we'll, we'll give you the history of our church, and we want to welcome you into the family of Bethany Church, and isn't it exciting when new people join? And so we want all of our congregation, give them a right hand of fellowship on their way out, 
If you're COVID sensitive still, give them an elbow or something. And, uh, but they'll be at the, the, the door at the close of the service so that you can do that for them. And uh, the only announcements I have, you, you can be seated again or back to your seats. Um, I, I just want to, Dolores Fowler's here. Yay, there she is. Yeah, we're so glad you're with us today, Dolores. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, she, we're so glad to have her with us. And um, the, the other thing that I want to talk about is uh, the windows. How many noticed in there that we have now uh, something like $16,000 in there? We're uh, like uh, a great way. You know, we, yeah, 16,000 has come in already. Uh, so that's 13 and a, a third windows. It, it's, really, it's really a little different than that. We have three windows that are very costly here. The sanctuary windows. You know why? Stained glass. Okay? So right now we have all the other windows in the church covered with what has come in. Is that amazing? So now when we give, we're giving to do these stained glass windows, replace them. And I just thought, wow, that, that really gets us right, right down to the last three windows. They're just the really expensive windows, all right? But if you have uh, anything that you can contribute to that fund, uh, I cannot believe, I am just shocked and amazed at how much God's people have rallied to give towards our window project here. It's all in one month we've gotten this much in for the windows. And hey, if you haven't turned in, your hymn sing uh, favorite songs for the upcoming event. You want to do that today. And uh, that's all I have. We're going to just close with prayer. Father in heaven, bless our offerings today. Our general fund, uh, Lord, also the Joash offering. Lord, we just praise you that so much has uh, been given by your people. Uh, they have so freely given to accomplish this goal of making sure the house of the Lord is not in disrepair. And Lord, we're meeting all of our other financial goals and our budget, and we thank you for that, Lord. Uh, we just give you praise for each one who's, who's been giving, Lord, so generously. We do it because we love you, Lord. And you've given so much to us. You've given your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And for that, we thank you, O oh God. We know we can never outgive your grace. You open up the windows of heaven, and you just flood us with more when we give so generously. Lord, I pray your blessing upon us. Those who are online, as they give online, we just pray, Lord, that you would bless. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful Lord's Day. Bet you want to sing hallelujah. Bet you sing amen. Can't help but celebrate being born again. Somebody who loves you. Waiting at the door, whoa, it's home sweet home here in the house of the Lord.